What if I told you that you could create a full 10-minute Disney quality video with just one prompt using the VEO3 model for animation? That's right, no need for any other tools because this AI does everything in one place. In this video, I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step how this tool can write your script, create stunning images, generate human-like voices, animate your scenes using VEO3, and even edit your entire video, all without leaving the platform. Stick with me until the end, because what you're about to see could completely change the way you create videos forever. The AI tool I'm talking about today is called VideoTalk AI. VideoTalk is an all-in-one automation tool for creating viral videos. With this tool, you can easily generate high-quality images, write an interesting and engaging script, create human-like voiceovers, make stunning videos, add sound effects, and even design viral AI avatar videos for platforms like TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube. The best part is you can do everything in one place. To try out this tool, I've placed a link for you in the description below. When you click the link, it will take you to the Video Talk webpage. There, you click the sign up button and log in using your Google account. Once you're on the home page, you'll see three main options create video with AI, create avatar video, and create video from scratch. In addition to these, you'll also find other useful tools. Now, here's how it works if you click on create video with AI, the tool will guide you through making a fully automated AI video from start to finish. On the other hand, if you click create blank video, it will open the Video Talk editor, which means you'll be creating your video from scratch, giving you full creative control over every detail. Now, let me guide you through the process of creating a complete video using AI. First, click on Create Video. Once you do that, you'll see three options. In here, if you already have a written script ready, choose the Your Script option and paste it here. Or if you have an audio clip, choose Upload Audio and upload it here. For this demo, I'm going to use AI Script, which means I'll let the AI to write the script for me. This tool can even create a script from a reference URL or a YouTube video link, so you can choose whichever method works best for you. Before we start, we'll need a story idea for our video. To get that, I use ChatGPT. First, copy the special prompt I've shared for free in my Discord server and Telegram channel. Paste that prompt into ChatGPT. This prompt will give you three original story ideas inspired by popular Disney or Pixar movies. You can edit the prompt to get results that fit your style. Once you have your options, go through them and choose the video idea you like the most. Then, copy that idea and paste it into the prompt box in VideoTalk. Next, we'll choose some basic settings for our video. First, pick the aspect ratio you want. Then, select the duration of your video. You can make videos up to 10 minutes long, which is amazing. If you want to add a custom character or an AI avatar, click on the custom character or AI avatar option. After that, click on media style. Here, you'll see two sections, static images and animated scenes. In the static images section, you'll find popular AI image generators that can create images for your project. In the animated scenes section, you'll see AI video generator tools like VEO3, Kling AI, and Hailiwo AI. Now, if you want to generate your video in one click, just select any AI video generator model, and it will create a complete AI video with animations for you. But if you prefer to first create your images and then animate them later, select an AI image generator from the static images section. Personally, I like animating my images manually, so I'll choose a model from the static images section. Once that's done, click on the style section to choose the look and feel of your video. VideoTalk offers many styles, such as VideoTalk style, anime, Pixar, 3D cartoon, cyberpunk, and more. Pick the one that fits your project best. Next, choose your language and then click on voice to select the narrator for your video. The tool offers a variety of voice templates to choose from. You can even select one narrator or two narrators for your video to get a more dynamic style, something that not many other tools offer. When all your settings are ready, generate. The AI will start creating your story script. Once the script is done, make sure to read it through and make any edits you want. When you're happy with it, click Next. The tool will then create an image prompt for each scene. Once you're satisfied with those, click Create Video. The AI will begin generating your video, and in just a few minutes, it will be ready. Once the video is generated, click on it to open the Video Talk Video Editor. This is the Video Talk Editor, and it works very much like CapCut. You can do almost anything here to edit your video. As you can see, the tool has automatically created captions, added images, and even generated a voiceover clip for you. 
These images are the ones used to make your video, and you can fully customize them. On the left side of the editor, you'll find tools to edit, adjust, add sound effects, and insert audio into your video. First, let's talk about replacing or adding new images. If you see any image you don't like, or if you want to add new images to your video, it's very simple. For example, let's replace this image with a new one. So, select the image, then click on the eye icon. This will show you all the details used to create that image. Now, copy the image prompt and paste it into the prompt box. Then, click on the model section below to choose the AI model you want. Video Talk offers high-quality models like Flux Pro, Google Imogen 4, GPT Image High, and others. For better results, I'll select Google Imogen 4. Next, choose your aspect ratio and click Generate. The tool will process your request and create the new image in just a few seconds. Here's the result, exactly what I wanted. The quality is truly impressive. Now, to replace the old image with this new one, simply drag the new image on top of the old image and click Replace. That's it. You can use this method to create and add new images or swap out old ones for fresh, updated visuals in your video. Now that we know how to generate high-quality images with Video Talk AI. Let's move on to creating animations, adding sound effects, and editing our video. We'll start with the first scene image. Click on the first image, and it will open a new prompt box. We now need to provide a motion prompt to tell the tool exactly how to animate the image. To help with this, I use ChatGPT again. Go back to our Discord or Telegram channel, copy the special animation prompt I shared there, and paste it into ChatGPT. This prompt will help us create a detailed animation description and also a prompt for sound effects for the scene. Once you've entered the prompt into ChatGPT, go back to Video Talk, copy the image prompt of the first scene, and download the image of that scene. Then, return to ChatGPT, upload the image, paste the image prompt below it, and click Generate. ChatGPT will now give you a detailed Disney-style animation description, along with a matching sound effects prompt for your first scene. Next, copy the animation description and go back to Video Talk. Select your first scene image, then paste the animation description into the prompt box below. After that, click on the model section to choose which animation model to use. Video Talk provides different high-quality animation models such as Kling 1.6, Kling 2.1 Pro, Seadance Vi 1 Pro, Hiluo, VEO3, and others. I'll choose VEO3 because it creates smooth animations with built-in sound effects. Keep the same aspect ratio and click Generate. The tool will now animate your image. Here's the result. Everything looks smooth, and the sound effects perfectly match the scene. The great thing about using VEO3 is that it automatically adds the sound effects for you, so you don't need to do it manually. Now, let's try using a different model to animate the second scene and see how it looks. First, select the image, then copy the image prompt and download the image. Next, go to ChatGPT, upload the image, paste the image prompt, and click Generate. ChatGPT will give you an animation description. Copy that description, then go back to Video Talk and paste it into the prompt box. After that, choose the motion model you want to use. This time, I'm going to pick Kling 2.1 Pro. Once you've made your selection, click the Create button. Here's the result I got. It looks good, but you'll notice there's no sound in the video. So now, let me show you how to add sound to this video. Go to the Video tab and select your video clip. When you select it, you'll see a prompt box below where you can describe the sounds or music you want for that clip. Go back to ChatGPT, copy the sound effects prompt for this scene, then paste it into the prompt box. Click Generate, and the tool will create a new video with the sound effects added. Here's the new result. It looks great now. To replace the old clip with this new one, just drag the new clip and drop it over the previous clip. This way, the video will sync perfectly with the voiceover that was generated earlier. Repeat these same steps to animate your other images and add sound effects to all the clips in your video. Once that's done, it's time to modify the final video. Click on the Captions tab, where you'll see all the caption text. You can rewrite or edit any caption if you want. By clicking the Style button, you can resize the caption text and adjust its position on the screen. Below that, you'll also find some text style templates to customize your captions even more. Next, in the Transition tab, you can add transitions between video clips to make your video flow better and look more polished. In the Text section, you can add text overlays to your final video for extra information or effects. In the Voice section, you'll find the original script that was used to create the voiceover clip for your video. If you want, you can rewrite it here and generate a new voiceover file. Finally, you can add background music and extra sound effects to your video using the options available. When you're happy with all your edits, click on Export Video at the top 
stop. The rendering process will begin right away. Here is the final result. Have you heard about the Great Heart Quest? A dark force called the Void Veil is swallowing light and color from every world. Toys lose their sparkle, ice turns dull, oceans calm, music fades, and cities grow cold. I know. The Nexus of Realms sent a magical summons, pulling together five legendary heroes from different realms for the first time. Buzz Lightyear, Elsa, Moana, Miguel, and Judy Hopps. Buzz is the fearless space ranger, always ready with high-tech gadgets and a can-do spirit. Elsa, the Ice Queen, balances immense power with a tender heart. Moana, the ocean voyager, follows her fierce heart. And Miguel brings his- As you can see, the video looks perfect, just like a Disney movie. When you're using the VideoTalk AI tool, you really don't need any other AI tools to create your videos. VideoTalk gives you everything you need to succeed on YouTube in one place. From writing your script, to generating images, to creating and editing your videos. It's easy to use, saves you time, and saves you money. On top of that, you can also create custom characters, clone your voice, make UGC videos, and much more. I highly recommend trying out those features too. If you're enjoying this tool, consider upgrading to their pro plan. With the basic plan, you get 15,000 credits and access to all features. The pro plan, which costs $59, gives you 50,000 credits and full access to all the features. The link to try it out is in the description below. If you need any help, feel free to join our Discord or Telegram group. It's the perfect place to ask questions, share your creations, and connect with other creators who can help you make even better videos. Plus, you'll find all the AI tools and the exact prompts we used in this tutorial, so you can try them out yourself. If this tutorial helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss a new video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.